Everyone, let's learn about our body today. Let's start with the skin. Ah, ah, ah. The skin which covers our body has many interesting properties. It stretches like this. What would happen if our skin doesn't stretch? We wouldn't even be able to drink water because our arms wouldn't bend. Our fingers wouldn't bend either. Oh, I dropped it! Also, we wouldn't be able to grow either. We're about 50 centimeters tall and about 4 kilograms heavy when we're born. Then grow up to be 3 times taller and 20 times heavier. Unlike insects and some other animals, we don't molt. So without our skin, we could pop! It would be like wearing jeans that never stretch. Our knees wouldn't bend, so we would not walk properly. Did you know that our skin is waterproof? Watch this. Look! If it wasn't waterproof, we wouldn't be able to swim. We would grow heavy like a wet sponge or droop like the stuffed doll. Because we can't go in the dryer, it would take us forever to dry. The skin also protects our body. Although invisible to the naked eye, there are germs all around us. Go away! Go away! Ugh. We can stay healthy because the skin acts like a barrier keeping the germs out. Good, good. Just like an umbrella. <gasps> germs! Ah! More germs! Ah! <laughs> the skin keeps the germs out like this. But that doesn't mean it's okay for skin to be dirty. We must wash them clean. We get wrinkles as we age. But even newborn babies have wrinkles here. On their palms. Open your palms and look. We all have it. These lines apparently form from squeeze, squeeze, squeezing our hands when we're in our mom's belly. Look, even a newborn has palm lines, right? Yay! See how the lines form according to how our fists fold. Ah, quick quiz! We have an identifying marker on our skin that is unique even between twins. What is it? Hats off to you if you get it right. Yes, our fingerprints. Everyone's fingerprints are unique. So the police sometimes use fingerprints to identify people. Thumbs up! Friends, have you registered your fingerprints too? But do you know why we have fingerprints? Our fingers would be too slippery without them. Also, we wouldn't be sensitive to temperature changes and other stimuluses. Oh! Also, my dad might not be able to unlock his phone. That's bad. You can also make art with fingerprints. Now? Okay, I'll stamp my thumb on the ink pad. Guess what I'm making, friends? <laughs> Right? Just wait. Blue. Purple. Friends, guess what these are? Then, Tani will help you. Box. 
green frog. Sweet ice cream cone. Spiky cactus. What do you think? As I add details, can you tell what they are? Elegant and pretty ladybug. Cute ladybug. Butterflies too! Isn't it fun? You can make all kinds of fingerprint art! Friends, try it out yourself! 